Hello traders, welcome to the weekly trade ideas with me Pierre at PFX. As usual, we're going to take a look at all the majors including gold and oil to help you out with your trading plans for the upcoming week starting right now. Hi guys, my name is Pierre. Welcome to my channel. This channel is all about helping you grow your trading account and making you a better trader. Now each week I upload a new video like this. so. If you're not subscribed make sure to subscribe hit the notification bell and guys please if you like the video do not forget to hit the like button let's get started so first of all a big thanks to all your support guys for the comments and likes and the shares uh, the channel is still need your help guys so please keep hitting that like button adding a comment share the video it will not take a lot of time if i see that the videos start getting more views i will surely keep doing this but as i said uh, for a couple of weeks ago if i don't see it worth it i'm not uh, really willing to keep doing these so thanks a lot for the support and your help as usual i will start with the dixie and we are looking on the weekly time frame checking last week candle looking good very nice momentum uh, a slight break and close above previous high is important and that we've got a close above these couple of weeks highs here so uh, the if we check the bullish candle on the dollar the momentum is looking good again the bearish candle uh, they are not as big uh, as the bullish ones so there is potentially a uh, momentum continuation here on the way if we go down to the daily time frame we see that we have a nice trending market right now inside this uh, bullish channel and if we go even lower to the four hour time frame you see that after this uh, nice huge move here it could be now time for a little bit of a correction on the dollar there was some profit taking at the end of uh, last week and that is normal that you see something like this happening on a friday so all in all, uh, in my opinion, if the dollar to make a correction lower here toward this area at around the 93.20 level, that could be a good first area for the bulls to watch for uh, potential interest. So if we measure this leg here, the whole leg all the way up, we see that the area between 38 and 50 percent is a potential good level and the 618 is also yet another great area looking left where we had this swing here at that exact same level so i'm first watching this level here for potential correction retest of the broken structure and maybe continuation to the upside if we get bullish evidence uh, gold not much has changed here as you see gold did a retest of the broken structure we knew that this area gonna be a level of uh, resistance because it been acting as nice uh, resistance and support previously especially if we go lower time frame like the four hour you see how many times this area been tested and that was said in my uh, last week's overview that this area gonna be a trouble level now not much happened last week almost the whole trading week uh, went sideways in this narrow range which means we are uh, about to see a another momentum move like this or like this yeah the question is if it's gonna go to the upside or to the downside for a strong momentum move to the upside gold need to break above this previous high so it is not enough to just break the trend line i need gold to, to be above this high as well holding above it and then maybe more upside but if we go down uh, sorry go up to the daily time frame we see that after this strong bullish momentum things start to slow down a couple of doji candles or spinning tops then follow it by a bearish engulfing on thursday friday was also a potential bearish day so i go down to the to one hour time frame to show you that uh, area here gonna be very important next week i think that any break below this level next week uh, it would be good idea to look for retest and continuation back down to the uh, 1755 area as a potential level of uh, interest for the bulls uh, or uh, for the bears as a target uh, oil following the plan nice, nicely to the downside so oil um, is in a trending market right now a bearish trend on the daily time frame has started as you see lower lows and lower highs all the way here 
and last week we've got another lower high it is testing right now the last line of defense uh, Oh, whoops let me go back to the daily as you see here if we uh, mark this level where this swing here you see that the market is testing that last line of defense now next week if they fail to hold this level as support next target gonna be this level down here at around uh, 57 30 area okay so uh, for oil keep looking for continuation to the downside any retest back up here this could give you this level here the support level could give you a bounce back up any retest towards 65 area could be a level to watch for a bearish continuation or if you see the market pushing below this level uh, right away without a correction you look for a retest and then further downside so those are the plans for oil uh, at the moment because um, it is uh, trending uh, in a bearish trend right now euro usd so we go down uh, we go up to the daily time frame and uh, or maybe to the weekly to see what well, how was the close here so uh, the weekly close as you see is right below this uh, previous low here not the biggest close or the break ever but still I have uh, my same plan here that uh, the market objective for the bears is to tag this double bottom here at least okay so this is the first level to watch as a potential target we go down to the daily time frame and we see that this market is still um, in a bearish trend with a break below previous low made a correction back up on friday and it could still continue to the downside so uh, for our time frame we saw we've been talking about this in my trading room that we had a bullish divergence and um, as you see here this bullish divergence with a double bottom uh, gave a nice bounce to the upside but keep in mind this could be profit taking do not forget that they've been selling this for the whole week and we came to Friday and uh, a little bit of a profit taking used to give you such bounces so for next week I would uh, be watching this area here at around this level to see if the bulls will uh, try to continue uh, sorry the bears will try to continue this uh, move to the downside as far as this market is trending like this with lower lows and lower highs i'm looking for further downside the big question is always how far uh, it will uh, correct but again if we check this low here and this low here this is a nice area of interest where the price is right now so it could be the level to watch for a further downside next week if they fail to break above this area for example i'm looking for the continuation to the downside and watching for bearish evidence sterling usd we go to the daily time frame here and we see that this market is also trending nicely to the downside still no break about below this area here but that could be the case for next week and as a potential market objective um, down here the 1.3490 is a potential market objective and when i say much market objective i mean that the market want to reach this level before taking profits so um go to the four hour time frame you will see the momentum here is still strongly bearish yeah if we check the bullish momentum uh, there are only shallow corrections here one candle only heel one candle only here we had a Four or five candles but there was no momentum at all so these are clear corrections and then continuations now since the market uh, did uh, reach this area down here that could be a reason for this market to start making a correction and uh, the level i am in anticipating for um, a continuation uh, would be retest of this area so if next week we see a correction back a couple of days up here and then further downside that would be a lovely level to watch for a continuational move and if that would not be the case and we start seeing some kind of a bearish flag something like this a slow going correction as we had here that could be also another uh, way to play it uh, to the bearish side okay uh, USD Jappy, not much is happening here. We stuck inside this range here. So this is the support, this up here, the resistance. Um, and uh, I think we should change this toward like something like that. This is uh, the range that we should be playing for uh, 
for this market now keep in mind last week on thursday we've got a lower high okay so this is a confirmed lower high which could mean that you have an impulse you had a correction you might get something like this once again but as far as this level here is holding as support it still could bounce around inside this range here uh, you see the bearish momentum here was a strong uh, strong bearish momentum on the four hour time frame you see how strongly this went to the downside and this whole leg did a correction like uh, 618 retracement nicely done here and then boom another impulse to the downside so what i'm really thinking about here about this and second impulse if this would be the correction of that and one more leg to the downside so my even though we have a stronger dollar uh, somehow i think this looks good for something like this to happen next week but you need to wait for the break of the flag if that would not be the case that would mean that the bulls will hold this level and give you yet another push to the upside to retest this top up here but all in all if you check this you had first impulse you had correction and you may be getting the next impulse right now USD chief also still not much is changed here. Uh, we do have a very choppy scenario. So this market start a bearish move here to then push back up and gave us a higher low. So this is a inverted head and shoulder. It could be a continuation uh, pattern instead of a reversal. And why I'm, why I'm saying continuation, we had an impulse. This inverted head and shoulder could be the correction of the impulse and one more leg to the upside. This is a tricky scenario at the moment and I think the best would be to play this upper range on the lower time frames and uh, with this upper range I mean this area here. Yeah, so we could forget about this break here and just play this upper range instead, this area here as our field next week until we have a break out of it so any retest back to the bottom of this range could be a potential area for the bulls to enter and if they reach the top could be the level for the bears to watch as a potential sell level usd cat looking good sharply to the upside checking the weekly time frame we do have a break and close above previous high not the strongest break but checking the momentum of uh, of these weekly candles like let's make this a little bit bigger checking the momentum of these weekly candle it looks like the bulls are still in control yeah very big candles uh, on the bullish side checking the daily time frame this candle on thursday was a huge one there was an attempt to push higher on friday but then um, we've got a rejection and this could started by some profit taking or something like that and if we go down to the four hour time frame you see how extended this leg is or this whole move here it was very extended and it is now potentially time for a little bit of a correction so we need to let it make a correction to then start look to see where we could enter for a continuation it is not a clean area so you need to be a little bit careful you need to have uh, at least a strong um, area to watch or something like this where the market is testing right now if we start to see bullish evidence which could confirm a higher low here this could be the level to watch for the continuation to the upside on uh, this market otherwise if they enter this down here it's gonna be even harder because if we look left there is not much on the way we had this area here and that would be all uh, before the level down here so it is a little bit tricky because we do not have big structures to to work with but as you see here the divergence on the rsi is already uh, making a, um, a bullish hidden divergence because the price down here all the way up here but on the rsi we have already a lower low between the these two lows so that's why it could be a, a good idea to watch this level here for potential continuation already. Aussie USD also following the plan nicely, as I said in the weekly overview, when you have such a 
long consolidation and then you get you get a breakout usually you get a strong momentum and we've got a very strong momentum here to the downside the market uh, pushed strongly lower if we check the weekly time frame there is not much on the way until they reach this double bottom down here i think the the bears are still not uh, happy with this and they will keep pushing before they uh, start taking profit so um, let it do a little bit of a correction to then start look to sell further the first level of interest uh, gonna be these small areas here but the best level would be a retest toward this structure and to see that structure you need to go to the one hour time frame so as you see we have this nice structure here and we have a little bit of a smaller structures here on the way these are not enough in my opinion a two three days correction would be a much better scenario waiting for this market to reach this level to then look for further downside scenario New Zealand USD same scenario here broke the range did reach a level of interest almost still there is a little bit of room to tag these areas down here but early next week I would say look for potential correction it is already here making a little bit of a uh, consolidation or a uh, bit of a rounded bottom so this could be something like this to wait for next week and then further downside on this market so um, early next week keep an eye on this neckline you might get a little bit of a move to the upside as first before the continuation lower but this market is now in a nice bearish trend as you see here okay so it might continue further down but let it do a little bit of a correction before selling more and uh, that would be it for today guys thanks a lot see you next Sunday. Bye-bye.